5 seconds inaugurating the fifth annual conference of state social welfare advisory boards the prime minister said ever since the starting of the social welfare board i have been in touch with it and with its activities i have considered social welfare as a subject of great importance and i have been much impressed by the work done i am glad that the planning commission and the social welfare board have attached importance to constant attempts at evaluation of the work done if we look at the work of the board the predominant impression is of its size and spread we have always had social workers in india doing good work nevertheless that work remained uncoordinated and large areas had been left untouched the good work of the social welfare board and its state branches suggest that a certain ferment is taking place a social revolution includes everyone but it especially pertains to women if the women do not change or progress social life remains more or less static and one of the most interesting and far reaching changes which i think are coming over india today is the change among the women of india it has occurred to a great extent in regard to women in cities and towns and has begun even in the rural parts of our country once it spreads adequately in the villages this social revolution will bring tremendous results even in our moment of freedom women in india joined it in considerable numbers and that gave the movement its living spark from a short term or a long term point of view the progress achieved by women is of the greatest importance therefore the social welfare board is not only doing good work in the sense of social reform but is doing even more important work in the sense of pushing ahead the social revolution in india it is a continuing process in the past the work was confined largely to the educated section and the welfare workers worked more or less among themselves but a real difference has now been made with the approach to the mass of our population who are in need of the ferment of change our chairman has been telling us of the work done of the numerous projects schemes plans etc i have no doubt that the work is affecting rural india the chairman has told us that special attention should be paid to the education of girls and women all of us are agreed on that from the point of view of a proportion it lags far behind but in terms of numbers it is a fair achievement again i look upon this aspect from the point of view of the basic changes which have been set in motion in our social fabric the chairman has referred to a demand frequently made for a ministry or a department of social welfare i have had considerable doubt whether setting up a ministry would be the most efficient way of dealing with the subject of social welfare the many aspects of which are spread out in the present ministries and how to be collected together this type of work requires the non official voluntary workers approach it requires a great deal of flexibility i think that social welfare work can be carried out successfully in a voluntary and a non official way with official help and guidance i have welcomed the coordination of the activities of the social welfare board with the community development movement because both cover nearly the whole of the country and both have fundamentally the same objective in view it would be unfortunate that they pulled in different directions or worked independently of each other their activities should be closely coordinated the social welfare board looking after the work of social welfare within the larger framework of community development we are engaged in building up the panchayats cooperatives etc in our villages i think the social welfare board should not directly but in some form take interest in this movement the type of social welfare isolated from life's problems which set up an orphanage i heard the word or widow's home may be all right in a limited sense but it does not appeal to me in the slightest let us have training institutions but let us drop words like orphanage as if they are badges of a criminal tribe the child is likely to grow up thinking there is nobody to look after it 
that feeling is a bad thing if you deal with the active problems of life in the village or in the city and your work is connected with those problems you form part of a widespread movement and not of institutions doing odd bits of work the latter type of work may be necessary here and there but that if i may say so is the superior approach of the well to do towards the less well to do you should interest yourselves in the panchayats and see that women understand them and go into them similarly you should interest yourselves in the cooperatives i think that the cooperatives should be a big field for work by trained women the chairman referred to the need to utilize a large number of women teachers in the country that is important the number of women teachers is bound to grow and if they can be set to work in the field of social welfare in rural areas the work will immediately get a considerable accession of strength we have got into the habit of copying western models i have yet failed to understand what good it does to send people to be trained in western countries to do social welfare work in india conditions are totally different in those countries for a trainee to be sent to america or england to learn social welfare work in those countries seems to me absurd it is a different matter with senior workers a senior worker may go abroad to see the methods and approaches i suggested to many persons who had gone abroad that they should have spent that time here in sevagram or in some other institutions in india in order to learn about the indian human being the approach has to suit the conditions in india